Let us verify Rolle's theorem for the function fx equal to x square minus x minus 12 in the interval minus 3 comma 4. So we got the function fx equal to x square minus x minus 12 in the interval minus 3 comma 4. Now if we want to verify Rolle's theorem, we need to make sure that the three criteria are satisfied. Number one being f has to be continuous. Number two being f has to be differentiable. Number three being the value of the function at the end point must be equal. Let's do one by one. The first one f is continuous. Since f is a polynomial, since f is a polynomial, comma, f is continuous. In fact, f is continuous throughout r, but we don't need it to be throughout r. We just need it on the closed interval 3 comma 4, which is a subset of r. Again, since f is uh, polynomial, f is differentiable. You can differentiate any polynomial. And f is different. Once again, f is differentiable throughout r, but we don't need it uh, to be differentiable throughout r. We just need on the open interval minus 3 comma 4. Lastly, we need to show that value of the function at the end point here. End points are minus 3 and 4. The value of the function fx equal to x square minus x minus 12 at the end point are same. Then only Rolle's theorem is applicable. f of one of the end point is minus 3. So f of minus 3 equal to minus 3 square. So we replace x by minus 3 minus of minus 3 minus 12. That's equal to 9 plus 3 minus 12. That's 0. Okay, what about f of 4? The other end point is 4. f of 4 equal to 4 square minus 4 minus 12. 4 square is 16 minus 4 minus 12. Again, 0. So we see that f of minus 3 is equal to f of 4. f of minus 3 is exactly equal to f of 4. That's what we need. Value of the function at the end point must be same. So once again, f is a polynomial, so it is continuous. Second point, f is differentiable. Last point, f of minus 3 equal to f of 4. The value of the function at the end point are same. So Rolle's theorem is applicable. So by Rolle's theorem, if the Rolle's theorem is applicable, what does the Rolle's theorem says? By Rolle's theorem, there exist a constant c such that f test c equal to 0. There exists a constant c such that f test c equal to 0. What does rule syndrome guarantees us is that there exists a constant. One constant must exist so that derivative of f at that constant is equal to 0. Not only that, that constant must belong to the open interval minus 3 comma 4. In other words, that is c has to be greater than minus 3 and less than 4. f dash c must be 0 and c has to lie between minus 3 and 4. Now, So if the Rolle's theorem guarantees us existence of such a constant, then we should be able to produce such a constant. In this case, let us produce such a constant. fx equal to x square, let's look at our function, x square minus x minus 12. x square minus x minus 12. So f des x equal to, if you differentiate x square, you get 2x. If you differentiate minus x, you get minus 1. So f des c equal to 2c minus 1. f des c equal to 0 if, f des c equal to 0 if 2c minus 1 equal to 0. That gives us c equal to half. Well done. 
Does half lie between minus 3 and 4? Yes. So we have determined a constant C. So F dash of half equal to 0, in fact that constant F dash C equal to, for C equal to half, F dash of C equal to F dash of half equal to 0, and C equal to half lie in the interval minus 3 comma 4 as half lie between, uh, sorry, half lie, yes, half is in between, not say between, but half is greater than minus 3 and less than 4. 